All right. Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Great to see everyone here for our BAM session today. Looks like we have a good group of uh, folks. The the infamous Rod Yarger, good to see you there uh, sporting your branding hat there, as always. Very cool. And, uh, man, it's, it's so fun to see agents from all over all of our different markets popping in because we're we've got quite a footprint and it's nice to have agents from our different markets and uh and it's also also nice uh for you to share um when we get past our teaching time it's kind of nice to hear perspectives from different markets uh, i don't know if you've ever been in an office environment for real estate but none of the agents actually share their secret sauce <laughs> for how to build their business because uh, you know they're competitors uh, you know you're you're working the same market same little suburb or whatever it might be and they're not going to give their secret sauce for how they're winning listings and stuff but when we're uh, coming in from about 20 different markets you can share those secret little things that you're doing and it can help agents in other markets and you don't have to worry about it necessarily cannibalizing your market so so, uh, okay, and if you have a camera there, if you don't mind turning that little thing on, that's, that would be terrific. You don't have to. We won't throw you out if you don't, but it's always nice to see our, our group there. So um, I wanted to mention, uh, before we get into our training time today, um, uh, Scott and I have been working uh, a little bit over time to uh, get our documents up to date. Uh, we, we created our documents, the buyer agreement, uh, disclosures, all that stuff. We we created that uh, a little over a month ago with the information that we had at the time, and uh, and then uh, we, we have learned recently that some of the little parts to the puzzle have been tweaked, and so we're tweaking our documents a little bit just to make sure, uh, trying to keep everyone out of prison uh, best that we can. And uh, we're <laughs> actually, actually, you won't be the one going to prison; it'll be me. So. And it probably won't be prison. It'll be a big fine. So, uh, so that's what we're uh, working on. So we will have everything up to date very soon, and uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, see those documents. Uh, actually, our goal is within the next week. Now, uh, for Ohio law, we have about another month before everything has to be in place. But you know, we're trying to be ahead of time for that. And uh, of course, the NER stuff has already uh, been. Uh, knocked through, activated. We're, we're working on the NAR stuff now uh, using their new rules. And all of our documents do comply with those, but the Ohio has a few other rules that we've added in there. So, okay, well, welcome to today's BAM. Today I wanted to talk to you about a few different things. Uh, in particular, I wanted to talk to you about the seasonal uh, nature of real estate, being in real estate through different seasons. Uh, some of you have uh, been in it through, many, many of you are seasoned veterans. You've been through all the seasons and you kind of know the ebb and flow of real estate. And after we get through our teaching time, I'd love to kind of hear some of your feedback. Uh, but uh, some of you are, maybe this is your first season or second season, and you haven't picked up on the fact that there's these little patterns. Uh, some of it has to do with uh, the way that uh, the markets uh, get real busy, and sometimes they, they tend to slow down. And uh, some agents, when they see the market slow down, uh, for instance, in the fall, uh, some of them go into a nervous breakdown mode and uh, have a panic attack. And uh, I just wanted to help you to understand that's that's a normal thing, uh, not not the panic attack, uh, the seasonal aspect. <laughs> the seasonal aspect to real estate is normal. The panic attack, we're trying to avoid those as best we can. So uh, what you need to understand is uh, just on a very base level, Real estate tends to be pretty busy in the summer and it slows down in the winter, okay? Then you have the spring and the fall that are kind of in between seasons. So, uh, but in particular, the the dead of winter, and I, I would say the, the worst three months of the year that I've experienced are November, December, and January. Uh, those tend to be the slowest months of the year. You might even say... Uh, October, November, and December kind of depends on uh, what's going on. 
Now, we might be kind of surprised this year being an election year. I see they dropped interest rates a little bit, and they're trying to uh, make make the economy look good right before the election. <laughs> and and that's fine. Let's go sell some houses. Let's do that. That's fine. Uh, so I think that could potentially help us through this season. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm glad, you know, always glad for interest rate drops. Uh, so hopefully that'll affect the mortgage markets. But uh, what, one of the things you have to understand in the real estate world is that uh, you, you have to run your business like a business. And so every time you get a commission check, that doesn't mean, wahoo, time to go spend money and go sp blow your whole commission check, okay? Uh, one of the best things you can do with your business is to set up a business checking account. So you have a checking account just for your business. And every time you get a commission check, you deposit it into that checking account. Now, some people would say get two business checking accounts. And then as soon as you dr drop that commission check into that account, you take 20 or 25% of it and put it into another account for taxes. <laughs> and that's not a bad idea. But uh, at least you want to have a business checking account. And what you want to be able to do is deposit those. But you want to pay yourself a salary out of your business checking account, okay? So um, you need to figure out what are your what's your budget, what are you paying out, and try to establish your uh, try to establish your salary for your business to be maybe just a little bit more than what your budget is. Now, some of you don't know what a budget is. You don't even uh, run your house, your finances by a budget. If you don't, that's step one. <laughs> Figure out what do you spend to live? Now, what does it cost you to live? So you want to set up a budget. What's your mortgage? What's your electric, gas, water, uh, food? What's your, uh, you know, your budgets for all your electronics? What's your budget for your, your uh, groceries? All those things. So you make, make sure you know what does it cost for you to live? And the goal is to earn more money. Then you spend. <laughs> and if you do that over a prolonged period of time, it pays off. Okay. If your budget's too high, you need to pull it back. Uh, but if you, you're, uh, but what you want to do is figure out, and then when you get a closing, um, you know, just dump it into that business checking account. And then on the first of each month, regardless of what your closings have been, you have that salary that you're paying for yourself. So if you get a big check, that doesn't mean you go spend it all. That means you still, that goes into your business. And what you want to be doing is build, you want to be building up a surplus. And so what I did every year was I, I set up, uh, I, I had a goal, whatever my budget is, I need to make sure I have three times of my monthly budget in surplus uh, in, in that checking account by the time I hit the end of October. OK, so I would have three months of living expenses in that or my budget in that account by the end of October. Then if I didn't sell a house in November and December and January, I was fine because I was still able to draw my salary out of that account and, and I didn't get stressed out. Now, I, I will say that was my goal and and I and I always did that. But I, I, I can't. I don't think I ever had a year where I didn't have a closing in November, December, and January. I was just prepared in case that ever happened. Uh, but then I would, I, I didn't want to deplete my savings, so I would always continue beating the bushes trying to find business to make sure that I was ready for November, December, and January. Now, what happens? in November, December, and January. And, and we're in September now, so I'm trying to get you prepared uh, for that, that, that lull in business. What happens during that phase, uh, that season, is that you still get leads. You can still build leads. They're just not going out looking at houses the day after Thanksgiving, typically. Some of them might, uh, but you still get leads and you want to be still building up your leads you know, if you're, let's just say you're getting uh, two or three leads a week, you know, maybe you're getting 10 or 12 leads a month. 
you know, you're, you're building those leads in November and you're building those leads in, in December and January. So you're getting a surplus of leads. You keep working them. And then at least the way it worked for me, because I kept building leads and, and working them in, uh, you know, January and February, I started having business like pretty, pretty quick, pretty fast. So, uh, so be emotionally ready uh, for the market to slow uh, in, in the months ahead, be prepared. Now, if you don't have three months of reserve uh, income in your account right now, if, if I were in that situation, that's when I would be really beating the bushes. I, I would be doing, I would be making extra phone calls right now. I'd be trying to, uh, you know, really work my database and I'd be doing extra things to try to cultivate uh, business. So, uh, specifically, um, here are the things, here are the seasonal activities that I would be doing to try to build my b business. The first thing I would be doing during this slowing of the market would be that I would be doing a lot of lead generation and follow up. Okay. Uh, just because people aren't writing contracts today doesn't mean they're not a lead. So I would continue nurturing those leads, even though uh, maybe they're, you know, going to Halloween parties and they're planning their uh, Thanksgiving and they've got a Christmas things and they, they may not even respond, but they're still there. And trust me, beginning in January, they're going to start getting act, uh, active and interested again if you stay up with them. But if you stop responding to them and stop uh, reaching out to them during these three months, then you're going to find yourself uh, uh, without business in January. So now another thing that you can be doing during this uh, seasonal slow, this is the perfect time of the year to spend some time focusing on recruiting. Uh, I, I would encourage you to set up a recruiting plan. Uh, start building that residual income. Figure out you know, how can you start getting an agent a month? You know, how can you start uh, getting, you know, that's a thousand bucks a month just by recruiting agents. If you do that, that's just one a month. And what what if you actually saw this as a revenue stream and started really uh, going after and figuring out how can you uh, build that uh, area of your business? And I, I would encourage you to go back over the agents in particular that you've worked with over the past year, uh, or maybe agents that you had that you were friends with at your last brokerage, and I would start out with something simple. Say, "Hey, hey, Bob, we're looking for great agents at Plumtree. I I think you're a great agent. Would you be opposed to me introducing you to Chris?" And uh, and then send them our recruiting video. Send them that Plumtree value stack uh, video from YouTube text that to them and say, are you familiar with uh, what, uh, the Plumtree value stack, what we offer to our agents? Do you know about this? So I, I would say go through all those agents, try to stir up some appointments. You introduce them to me, I'll take it from there, I'll recruit them, and we'll pay you lots of money. And we are paying lots of money. It's, it's remarkable to me how much money now we're paying out to our agents every month who are doing recruiting, who are getting uh, these residual uh, $100 every time someone they recruited closes a deal. It's it's a good system. Okay, a third thing I would do if I were, uh, you know, really trying to keep my business strong during a slowing market, uh, I would really work to nurture my database. So um, if you if you don't have a database of all of your clients and all of your contacts and people that you know that would either buy a house from you or they would potentially refer someone to you if you don't have a database then you are you are not really a business owner okay you you might be trying to work this like you're an employee you you have to work real estate as if you're a business owner and you need to develop your own database this is one of the most essential pieces to your real estate business that you can have is to build a database. If, if you if you don't have a database of at least 100, you must, you must, you must develop a database. And I would use an Excel spreadsheet for this. 
I would get a list of at least 100 people by the end of this week. Okay. Uh, if you have 100 in your database, I would build that to 300 as soon as you can. If you have 300 in your database, I would build that to 500 as soon as you can. If you have 500 in your database, I would get that to 1,000 as soon as you can. And and agents who have 1,000 in, in their database, those are the ones that are going to be running the table uh, in real estate in the upcoming years. And and I, I meet them all the time. I meet agents all the time who have these powerful databases, and that, that's your gold mine. So make sure you get a database, but then you have to know how to work the database. Uh, one of the most basic things you can do uh, with your database, and your database is the name, address, phone number, email of any people you know who might uh, refer you business or they might do business with you, okay? You need a 1,000 of these people in your database. Uh, and then I, I would make sure I set them up in an MLS search for them to get notified um, at the once a month, set up a notification once a month from the MLS so they see a list of whatever houses sold in their subdivision, not not their zip code, but in their subdivision. You do a map search around their subdivision, set them up for frequency of getting one email per month that shows how they can get uh, uh, shows the the list of houses that have sold in their neighborhood, not houses that go active, houses that sold that month. Uh, and that's one of the best things you can do with your database. Uh, and I'm going to talk some more about nurturing your database, uh, but you've got to build it to a thousand. Uh, oh. and, and you want to be making about 20 uh, connections per year with your database in order to build an unstoppable business. So um, now, I wanted to share a resource with you uh, that I think is very valuable. And some of you are using this. If you are using this, I'd like to get your feedback on this. I'd lo love to hear after our meet uh, at, at the end of this, this little presentation. I'd love to hear how you've used this resource and uh, some of your feedback on it. Uh, but this resource is Keeping Current Matters. This is probably one of the best resources for automating your social media and automating your newsletters and audi automating your nurturing for your database. One of the best resources out there. I highly recommend every one of our agents uses this and they don't pay me money to say that. I just think it's a great resource. So uh, now, uh, can you all see my screen? I just want to make sure before I waste too much <laughs> too much time. Sometimes I'm, I think I'm uh, sharing my screen and I'm not. So okay, cool. Looks like you can. Uh, so keeping current matters is uh, amazing. So let me go through some of their things uh, that some of their uh, features. I'm going to go through these one by one. So uh, first of all, you go to their website and you look at the overview. And this gives a good overview of their uh, system. So, and I've got these uh, little uh, windows here just really in the way. Okay, so want to grow your business, but you're struggling with, uh, okay, building your client base and closing more deals. Yeah, we want to do that. Uh, how to cut through all the noise and misinformation so that people listen to you. Uh, finding time in the busy day to create and share great content. So that's what this is about. This site creates content for you to use for your business. So let me play this quick video that gives an overview of what you get with Keeping Current Matters. Let me make sure my volume's up. Scott, if you can give me a little hand motion once this starts, let me know if you can see the video and if you can hear it. Hey there, I'm Sarah with Keeping Current Matters, and I want to give you a quick overview of what KCM can do for your business. KCM was created to give real estate professionals the market insights and tools they need to be the expert in any market. Here's how we do it. 
At the core of KCM, we provide housing market data and insights so you can stay current on what's happening both nationally and in your local market. We do that by taking a bunch of housing market data and insights and deliver it to you in easy to understand ways through blogs, social graphics, webinars, guides, and especially videos. KCM gives you all of the tools you need to have a relevant market opinion based upon facts. So why do you need this? Because the educated agent wins in every market and we can prove it. KCM members close 50 to 125% more deals than their competition. And that's in one of the most competitive markets in the country. The tools, data, and insights included in a KCM membership is like having an entire research and marketing team behind you without the big price tag. So here's what's included. Your KCM dashboard is where you can find your must-share content of the week. This will be updated every week with some of the best and most relevant content that you need to be sharing with your clients and contacts. Inside of shareable content, customized blogs, videos, and social graphics can all be posted to your social media accounts. Just choose your content, where you'd like to share it, add a caption, and post. And just like that, you've shared some of the most relevant content about the market to your page. Or take it up a notch and set up social media auto-posting. Here you can choose the platforms where you want to post, the content types, when you want to schedule, and then customize the post to fit your style. That's your entire social media posting done in just a few minutes. KCM Elite members also get exclusive access to our all-in-one video creator made specifically for agents, Real Talk by KCM. Members get new scripts every week with the latest market insights and visuals preloaded into the built-in teleprompter. Just select the scripts, hit record, and let the app edit everything automatically. In just seconds, you have a video ready to post and share. That's just the beginning of what's included in a KCM membership. We've got even more resources for you to grow your business, your knowledge, and your confidence. Keeping Current Matters, where agents become experts. All right, such a great uh, resource. It gives you content that you can be sharing constantly through your social media, uh, or, or you can set up a plan to, to, to be posting on certain days, and I love it. It's a great way to stay relevant uh, the key is to stay top of mind. 85% um, of people who buy or sell a house, they work with a realtor that they already know. So your goal is to be the realtor that they already know. You have to stay top of mind. And that's why you have to build out your database. And by the way, for me, uh, Facebook is my database. That's a big part of my database. Uh, and and so I, I try to connect with as many people as I can through Facebook. I've got, uh, I think, over 5,000 connections on, on social media on Facebook and 12,000 on LinkedIn. So, and 3% of the market is in the, 3% uh, of the population is in the market for whatever the thing is you happen to sell. So if you have a thousand connections on on Facebook. That means you know thirty people today who are ready to buy or sell a house. So it's things like this can be a, a gold mine for you in building your business. Uh, let me. So that was the overview. Uh, let's look at their uh, KMV local. Uh, this is their idea for helping you become the local expert. Let me play this video. The best agents are knowledgeable resources for their clients. They know what's happening nationally and know what's going on in their local market. In Keeping Current Matters, we help real estate agents become experts. And now we've added something that will change the way you communicate. KCM Local. With KCM Local, you'll simply plug in your search criteria down to the zip code level to unlock powerful visuals that are professionally designed and ready to share. Get started today with KCM Local so you can truly be the local expert. Yeah, great content. This is uh, their strategy for helping you uh, be the local uh, the local expert in your market. So uh, let me get back here. Uh, so that's local. Now, Real Talk is another really cool feature that they have to help you start creating video content. Okay, so let me uh, show you what they offer here. Agents, are you on video? 
Or have you just been looking for an easier way? How about a way that doesn't take hours to write, shoot, and edit? Real Talk, now powered by AI, is the all-in-one video creator that makes professional real estate videos in just minutes. It's as easy as selecting a script that covers one of the latest topics in the housing market, recording it with the built-in teleprompter, and sharing it with your sphere, all right from your phone. Every week, you'll get a new market update script to choose from. Write a script from scratch, select a template to guide you, or use the AI wizard to write the script for you. Want to make videos that highlight what's happening in your local market? Oh yeah, Real Talk covers that too. Just choose your local market, tell the AI wizard what you want to focus on, and just like that, AI writes the script for you. All personalized to you, your brand, and your local area. And the built-in teleprompter takes the guesswork out of what to say so you can focus on being yourself and delivering your market update with confidence. Did I mention that there's no editing required? Real Talk automatically edits the video for you and includes simple and effective visuals that show on screen while you talk. And just like that, your video is ready to download and share all right from your phone. There is no hassle, no complicated tech, no expensive equipment. Go from that no video guilt to consistently sharing engaging marketing content that boosts your brand and your business. Real video, real simple, real talk. Now powered by AI. Okay, so that is uh, their video feature. I just wanted to stop for a moment right on that one. Um, I think their video feature is possibly one of the most valuable things you can do uh, for helping you become a uh, an authoritative person in your market. However, uh, what I've seen uh, can happen is agents, they get this cool little teleprompter thing. They get the content kind of given to them and they've got the teleprompter and they are like, hello, friends and neighbors. Today, I would like to talk to you about the market in our area uh, houses are selling really fast and and so they're they're like a robot they they have they're scared to death reading the video and they and it looks horrible so they're it's it's an amazing thing that they can help you create content because that's one of the hardest things to do so i would suggest let them help you create the content use their little teleprompter app it's amazing use it but when you do video, there's two key reminders I want you to um, keep in mind. Number one, uh, make sure you understand every time you do video, it's you times two. What do I mean by that? Uh, do twice as much energy as you think would be normal. Okay. So most people are like, hey, everyone, I wanted to give you a little update on our market today. You know, that's that's what the, but you, you say, hey, everyone, I wanted to give you a quick, you know, uh, update on the market today. You want to give it energy uh, when you're when you're talking on video. It can come across very flat. So remember, it's you times two, double your energy whenever you're on video. The other thing I'll say uh, is to prepare and practice. OK, um, most people don't understand how much practice really good people on video, how much practice they put into it. Uh, they, they think, wow, that must be nice to have that that skill to be able to just get on camera and then they're just amazing. No, it takes practice. Uh, and I, I had a speech class in college. I, I was such a horrible communicator. I actually minored in communications because I thought, man, I'm so bad at this. I have to learn how to do this. And so um, I, and I, was, I was terrible. And so... I took a uh, one one of the speech classes. They said in order to get a D on your speech, you have to practice it at least five times. That's to get a D. <laughs> and if you want to get better, if you want to get better than a D, you have to practice it more than that. And they recommended ten or fifteen times. Now, did you know that people who give speeches practice the speeches uh, five, ten, fifteen times? You know, most of us, we think, oh, they just have this natural ability. But the reality is a lot of those people who are great communicators, they, they practice it. They practice what they're going to say. So I would recommend if you're going to do video, practice it five times 
to get a D. <laughs> Practice it five times before you go live on, on Facebook Live. Practice it. Make sure you know what you're going to say. Read the script. Read it five times. Read it ten times. And, and then it's you times two. Now, here, those are my main points, but let me give you a couple uh, bonus points here. Make sure you have good uh, a good audio so they can hear you well. And also make sure the lighting is good. And so I, I recommend if you're going to do on a video, walk up to a window. There's nothing better than outdoor lighting. And uh, you can walk up to a window and use the lighting to your advantage. And then look out the window, but you're actually looking at your phone as you do the video. So those are uh, those are the the quick tips I wanted to give you on video. And now I, I just say um, this software can really help you get to where you want to be, uh, though, because they give you the content, which is one of the most difficult things. So uh, so that's real talk. And then they have daily blog posts. So as a part of their service, they can help you create a daily blog, and then it will be branded with all your information and content, and uh, you can use that however you want. Uh, blogging's probably great. Uh, I'm sure you can incorporate this with your website because our conversion websites also have a blogging feature. I'm sure you can integrate that. Uh, but to be honest, that wouldn't be my, the, the other features that we're talking about to me would be even better uh, than the blogging. Uh, social media graphics, to me, this is probably the number one reason to get Keeping Current Matters because people, we, we live in a bump, uh, we live in a bumper sticker society today. You know, I don't want to see a speech. I don't want to, I don't want to read stuff. I want to see it on a bumper sticker. So if, or a meme. We live in a meme culture. So if if you can tap into these uh, great infographics that they they just they keep cranking them out every week, new graphics, and it's just amazing uh, what they what they do. The content and their design is great. It's so good. Let me show you this video. In real estate, you know it's all about staying top of mind with your clients. And the number one way to stay connected with your sphere is social media. But with everything changing and moving so quickly in today's market, the challenge is, how do you keep up? Introducing social graphics from Keeping Current Matters. Every week, we send you a fresh batch of thumb-stopping graphics to fill your social media feeds. Each graphic illustrates one of the most relevant topics in the housing market, answering your client's biggest questions and positioning you as the trusted expert. With custom design options to match your brand, your posts will look great and stand out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and beyond. Pre-written captions and hashtags for every single post help you spend less time writing and more time building a social media presence with real results. With social graphics from KCM, leading agents have a simple and consistent way to grow their following, build relationships, and turn leads into clients. Start sharing social graphics with your followers today. So the social media graphics to me is one of the best things. It's worth the money just for that. And that will help to keep you top of mind. Now, they also have a newsletter feature so that you can upload your database. You know, all those thousand people I just told you about. And it can send out a uh, branded newsletter from you uh, every month. So if you're looking for 20 touches per year, uh, you're going to get 12 through the MLS searches that you've set up, and you're going to get another 12 through this newsletter that they're sending out. And it lets you customize it and brand it with your own personal branding. So uh, the newsletter is definitely a great feature. Let me show you how this works. Email marketing isn't just a great way to stay top of mind. It's also proven time and again to bring agents the highest ROI. But creating emails from scratch can be kind of a chore. That's why we've created the KCM Email Builder, a powerful new feature that easily creates custom emails and newsletters in seconds. Along with saving time, this innovative new tool can keep readers engaged and turn your contacts into clients. Each email is personally branded with your name, photo, and contact info. Make your life easier with KCM Email Builder. You'll stand out, build trust, to start turning leads into listings today.
Love it. It's a great system. Um, and then uh, videos, uh, personalized real estate videos, get, uh, get professional ready to share real estate videos uh, branded to you. So this tells me, a little yes. bit more. You've been thinking about making videos, but you don't know where to start. Or maybe that voice in your head is getting tired of the same videos you record week after week on your iPhone. Unlock the power of video without all the hassles with KCM personalized videos. You'll get professionally made, personally branded real estate videos that you can download and share with your audience every week. These videos help answer the questions that your clients are asking, and they help you and your brand look great. One of the great things about KCM Video is whether you've started recording video on your own or not, KCM Video gives you a variety in things you can post to help update your clients on the market or give them critical information that you want to communicate. So unlock the power of video today with professionally made videos that will help you look great and save you time. So those are videos that they make and then they brand it with your con uh, with your branding. So. Uh, another thing they have that's amazing is uh, buyer and seller guides. So these are like a little mini magazine that has uh, content uh, to help guide buyers or sellers in the home buying or selling process, but it's branded with your branding. And that's amazing. Let's take a look at this. How do you make a lasting impression with a potential buyer or seller? By giving them value and showing them you truly care. KCM's buyer and seller guides are the perfect tool to show you're not just another salesperson, but a trusted advisor who's there to help them make the best real estate decision for them and their family. These done for you e-guides are professionally designed and personalized with your photo, bio, and contact information. Updated fresh for every season, they feature easy to read content that walks clients through each step of the home buying and selling process, as well as answers common questions and debunks popular myths. Buyer and seller guides can be used for everything in your marketing efforts, from open houses, to door knocking, to listing presentations, to online lead generation, and more. You can get your own buyer and seller guides free when you start a 14-day free trial of the KCM membership. Try KCM buyer and seller guides to start building trust with your first impressions today. Amazing. So that's another one of the top uh, resources I feel like they provide. So, uh, And then they have market reports and visuals, uh, just such a great way of communicating uh, information to uh, clients. Um, and it's, it's just amazing. So, uh, I should probably get paid for, uh, doing infomercials here, but their pricing then, um, uh, you can become a KCM member for fifty nine ninety five per month. So, uh, with, with that, you get the blogging and social media graphics, totally worth it. Uh, data and insights for national and local markets, social media and email automation, personalized support and training. Uh, what you don't get are 18 scripts and real talk, the real talk video maker. Now, if you spend a hundred dollars a month, uh, you, you get all that stuff, but then you also get the scripts and the video maker. So that's, uh, that's, that's your pricing. That's to me, that is so inexpensive. So uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. hundred bucks per month. Uh, and you, you could try it and say, well, let me, let me try this for three months. Let me, let me gamble with $300 and just see if I can build a business out of that. Now, the way I always looked at things uh, as, as a business, you own a business, right? You're a business owner. Uh, you have to invest money into your own business. What's, what's your marketing budget? Uh, what, what do you spend on marketing? Uh, and the way that I would look at it, you, you always have to look at the return on investment. So if I'm spending $100 per month, and that's going to, going to be $1,200 uh, per per year, right? What What's my average commission that I would earn? Let's, let's just say $6,000 is my average commission. So what I would look at is if I do that, let me see, $1,200, five years, if I spend uh, $100 per month for five freaking years. <laughs> Can I get one deal? 
out of this. If I can, it's probably worthwhile. If I can get two deals, definitely worthwhile. But my guess is that you'll probably get an extra four, five, six deals per year by using this type of an approach. So uh, anyway, it I, 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 I'm not on their payroll, I promise. Uh, but I think it's a good resource. And uh, with that, I'll open it up to our, our uh, gang. Uh, what questions or comments, any input, or if you know of some other resources, what have you been doing uh, for your social media, for video, and for uh, keeping up? Or have you tried this? Have you ever used Keeping Current Matters? Uh, what's the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, about it? Or getting back to some of the other things we talked about, the seasonal components to real estate, what are some, uh, what's some feedback you have on some of those topics? I'll take uh, five seconds of awkward silence as we let someone pop in there. Good morning, Chris. <laughs> wow, but 1.5 seconds, really good. <laughs> I'm an overachiever, what can I say? Okay, of course. Um, <laughs> this was really great. Uh, I love keeping current matters. I actually am bombarded with other agents who think that I'm one of their candidates. <laughs> and that's kind of crazy. When you build your, um, your database of leads, you should make sure that they are, you know, actual people that you want to talk to about, you know, buying or selling real estate with them. It just seems so tone deaf when agents are sending keeping current matters to other agents. So I would just encourage you to clean your database. Um, there's another one called list reports that my uh, lender partners have paid for for me, and they send me all kinds of uh, stuff that's postable. Um, and then I do use Reminder Media for that lovely magazine that's published monthly. And they have a, a digital program that goes with that. And they have a whole campaign for auto posting to my social channels with the articles that are generated through their, their program. So you just gave two really uh, great resources there. Do you mind telling just a little bit more about how each of those works? Sure. List reports is something that you partner with a lender who will pay for it. And then you get your own, you know, portal within list reports and you can, um, I think Frank connects agents with that. Frank, are you on the call? I think he knows about that. Anyway, um, so that's that's one that costs me nothing. And then I can just go in and I can grab all kinds of you know information and graphics and articles. And then I can, you know, distribute that through an email campaign, which I often do as part of my CRM follow-up, one of one of the seven touches. I always say that you have to touch everybody at least seven times before they, they pay attention to you. So yeah. seven different forms of communication, not just emails or not just social, but, you know, phone calls and drop bys and things like that. Um, and then the other one is Reminder Media. They do a beautiful magazine. I don't have one on my desk right here. They're automatically uh, mailed to my, my CRM every month. And um, some of the other agents here also use it. It's, it's a really great magazine and you can have it co-branded with someone else like a inspector or a lender that will help offset some of the expenses. And so then partnered with that magazine production, they also have a, um, a postcard campaign and social campaign. And that's all uh, created so that you can um, auto post to your channels. So Instagram and Facebook and that that's the only two I use, but you can do others as well. Man, that's great. Uh, what, what do you think that reminder media costs like for the magazines or per, per mailing? Any idea? Well, I, I do have it. It depends on how many you're sending. So yeah. what I'll do is I'll look it up in my invoicing and I'll post it in the Facebook Connect so people can get an idea of that. If you haven't already, do you think you could write those two resources in the comments? Oh, in the sure. Chat mm -hmm. And then our yeah. agent can look those up. That's really great. Yeah. What what other uh, what other feedback or comments or input? Anyone else? 
Hey, Chris, if, if you like the idea of the scripted videos, um, the default word processing app in on an iPhone, I think it's called Pages, does have a feature where it will read a script to you. So you can have a document and then you can put it in, in a, like a presentation mode and then it will read it to you and you can speed it up and slow it down based upon how fast you want to talk. So I've when I've done videos before, I've had the script going on an iPad and then, you know, whether it's your phone or whether you have a, a video camera, just have it behind it. You got to make sure <clears throat> you really look at the lens because it's easy to get caught your eyes going back and forth on the on the script. But uh, it's, so two hacks are one, you could be a little further away and then it's harder to see your eye movement. Or if you're close up, just make sure you're looking at the camera and in your peripheral vision reading the script. And then you can go into chat GPT, put in a real estate topic in there, like how, how do you get my house ready to sell? Um, give me a three minute script and chat GPT will put out some pretty good things. So if you wanna quickly come up with something custom, um, that could be a kind of a, a poor man's version of, of this. It doesn't put it all together um, quite like, like this app does, but if someone wants to just try it out and see if video is for them could be a way to a way to get going on that what app did you say that is it's the pages app on your iphone oh okay interesting and there is a feature in there where you can have it read your and it, it's the pages on iphone or ipad um nice not on the desktop version of pages it's not on there but only on the on the mobile versions nice well, you know, it's interesting um, with um, the, the way that um, the way that all that technology and stuff works. That's that's a great resource. And I, I do little cheats like that as well. Uh, like how uh, I can't show you because I can't move my camera easily, but I've got like sticky notes on on the wall behind the camera that help me to remember stuff uh, what, like outlines and things that I want to talk about bullet points. Now, for me. Um, I don't work great with a teleprompter because I, I do look like I'm reading something. So I, but I love the idea of manuscripting it or having a script and then having like behind the camera, I'll have my three or five bullet points. And then, you know, I'll glance at the bullet points and, and then everything tends to be more extemporaneous where I'm, it doesn't seem like I'm reading from the script. It feels like, you know, I'm just kind of, uh, sharing the content content from my brain, my brain and the sticky note. So um, the other thing I'll, I'll say, just while we're talking about video, um, you'll do much better if you do your video for, for online, at least for Facebook and Instagram, if you do it in vertical and then do it for at least, uh, or do it for under 60 seconds. So do it for 59 seconds or less. And then when you upload it, up, upload it as a reel. And the reason you want to do that is because uh, uh, the way they share it, if it's just a video that you post and it's over 60 seconds, they'll just share it with your network. That's that's your friends, maybe some of your friends. Uh, but if you uh, have less than 60 seconds and it's a vertical reel, then they'll share it according to interest which would be more than just your own uh, social network. So there will be people that they say, well, this person likes houses. Maybe they should see this video. And uh, that will broaden your influence that way. So, yeah, thanks, Scott. That's great. I'm going to start, start using that Pages app. I like that. Any other thoughts or comments? Chris, I have a suggestion for people yeah. who have slowed down and they are worried about what to do with themselves. If they're not making calls and building their, their lead base, they should be working on professional development. And there's a yeah. whole lot of classes that are going on. Um, just tons of uh, continuing ed. It doesn't have to be just what's required by the you know, renewing of your license, but you could learn a whole lot of other stuff. I took some fabulous classes at the Ohio Realtors Conference last week. And then they extended some additional classes that were all virtual 
um, this past week that were all free. You know, I mean, they're included with your price of admission for the conference, but incredible stuff. It was a lot of uh, technology classes and it's a lot about what you're talking about now. So just learning, learning, learning is always going to help you become more of an authority on our industry. Yep, absolutely. And lear learning, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. And uh, it, it, there's just a, it's one of the rules of the universe. So uh, Brett, I see you have a hand. I see Ashish, you've got, uh, but let's, let's go with uh, Brett and uh, love that little studio you've got, buddy. <laughs> Taking a, it's taken a long time. Um, as you can tell, sometimes I have uh, create avoidance, but uh, only on only on Saturdays trying to catch up. But uh, <laughs> a quick, quick, um, just a quick comment. Uh, I remember a long time ago you you talked about express copy for flyers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there another one that that you recommend besides them? I mean, th I'm not saying they're not great. I'm just kind of going through options. So I haven't really spent time in terms of doing that. I usually door knock around my listings, you know, a couple dozen maybe, and obviously call, but trying to do another touch point with, with that. Yeah, that's a good question. And especially since uh, keeping current matters has some print media okay. that they share with you. I, I mean, I'm not saying that they're the printer. I'm saying they, they can create uh, PDF documents that are branded with you. But then the question is, well, how, how do I print those? And um, so, so that comes perfectly in line with what you just asked. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have to say the one I would recommend is Express Copy. Uh, okay. To me, they are so good. I use them for all of my stuff uh, that I'm going to print that I that really has to look great. Uh, Express Copy, they can do stuff. It's press quality, and that, which means they, they can bleed off the edge of a page, which makes it look totally professional it doesn't look like you printed it at kinko's so that's that's what i really like about it however uh i'm fairly sure there's others in this group today who also have resources where you go for print and uh i'd be curious of hearing that uh now, now i will say i do use kinko's mm -hmm. when i have to when i have something quick oh gosh i have to do a listing presentation today at four. <laughs> so I'll, I'll print something custom for them. I'll send it to Kinko's, get really good quality paper. And that's, that's the best I can do within a few hours. Right. Uh, so, but I don't know, does anyone else have another printing resource for really high quality printing? I, uh, I use mailbox power for some other mail campaigns, but I guess what I'm trying to do is, is I, I'm analytical and expressive. So I fight myself on a daily, just send it or it's gotta be perfect. So I'm just trying to find things and Lee's a big help. I'll, uh, I'll mess with something for about 15 minutes and then I'm done. I'll send it to Lee. I do mess around with Canva, Canva for certain things, but, um, that's another great resource with Plum, Plum yeah. and Lee on, on board. So again, appreciate everything you guys are doing. Um, that, that, that's it. That, that's all I wanted to, to chat about express copy. And I'll I'll uh, I'll keep on messing with it. Maybe you know, later. you know, you mentioned Canva, and it strikes me that I think Canva also has a uh, printing um, link, right? That you can print from Canva. Um, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. What's the quality of that like? Has anyone tested it? I have. We it's use good. we use it all the time for our bar. We, oh. we create flyers. We print our menus off of that. And um, it's beautiful quality. It's very inexpensive. It's very effective. That's Easy to cool. design. And also Canva has um, a buyer guide that you can call up and you can help, you can tweak it and use AI to help refine it and put your own branding in it and all of that. And then you can print it right through them. Another, um, another printing resource is connected through one of our title partners, um, First American Title, they have an entire printing program for, it's called Ignite RE, it's free to use, and they have templated, you know, like door hangers and flyers and postcards and all different types of seasonal stuff. And then it's, you don't have a minimum. So it's not like some of these other print shops where you have to do a minimum of 150 pieces to get the better price. 
you could print as few as one item for 34 cents and they will ship it to you free of charge. There's no shipping charge. It's very cool. So if you don't already have a First American Title partner, um, we can connect you up with ours here. They are a national title company, but they have a great printing program. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, that that also reminds me, uh, Fairway Home Mortgage, which is our preferred lender, they uh, preferred lender, uh, they uh, also provide... They have an app, a marketing section on the app for agents, and they also have some printing uh, resources like like that. So I, I would say go in whatever areas that make sense for you with with those marketing pieces. So and Ashish, I think Ashish had a. Do you still have a question or comment? Yeah, just I was just wondering, just like a couple of days ago, and looking for the just like a. I do not find anybody buyer is ready or any other things, but uh, somebody has given me the idea. Look, because of the most of the listing are expiring into the market in a month of August or September, look for it, try to contact the owner. You may get something. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, and that's a good point. Uh, that's a part of the lead generation even now. Uh, during the as a, as the market is slowing, uh, and 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 uh, it's it's good to continue that lead generation. Now, what I would say is a lot of those people who are expiring now. Uh, my my experience is that most of them would say, "Yeah, I'm just going to wait till the new year." Perfect. I've already made contact with them, and then guess what's going to happen on January first or second? It's like, "Hey, I <laughs> happy new year." <laughs> Uh, you said you're going to sell and I'm here happy to help you. So um, anyway, that's uh, and, and just statistically um, uh, January 1st and December 31st are the two days of the year that have the most expired listings. And so if you don't have a business plan for right now, getting ready for December 31st and January 1st, um, I, I would encourage you to start building a business plan for that. And if it were me, I would sign up for Land Voice, which provides scrubbed leads that will notate if they're on the do not call list or not. So you don't have to pay one of those $175,000 uh, bills uh, for calling someone on the do not call list. They will they will scrub the list for you. And uh, and, and if it were me, uh, I would I would call the uh, I would sign up for the two closest markets near you. Like if you're in Southwest Ohio, you, you have to grab uh, Dayton and Cincinnati. If you're in Central Ohio, you know, make sure you get uh, Columbus. But I, I would be picking up Dayton or some other market. If you're up in uh, Northeast Ohio, make sure you're grabbing everything in Cleveland and Akron and Canton and, and anything you can get. Make sure you get all those markets for expired listings and. Uh, so during the slow season, now you're planning that marketing approach uh, at the first of the year. So anyway, any other thoughts or uh, questions, comments? And Scott, I don't know if we have any comments out there. It looks like people are uh, maybe giving some ideas. Although, Aaron, did you have a... I, I did, actually. Mar Marcy had said something about, you know, if you're struggling with what to do, it's a phenomenal time to get some education. I wanted to say on LinkedIn, there is a whole subsection of micro designations. Most of them are free. Some of them are a couple hours. Some of them are a couple of days. And they are really solid, almost college level training courses that go over almost any topic that you need, including marketing, advertising, networking. That is a great place if you got a couple extra hours here and there to to jump into. And then tagging on to what Scott said, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Chat GBT. The what you can do with it is almost endless. Um, so I do a lot of like memes and pictures and funny things, and I get a lot of my prompts for that from Chat GPT. And sometimes I'll actually have it generate it and then I'll adjust it, I'll throw my face on it, do whatever. Um, and that keeps me in front of my social media network, which is 6,700 people. 
that's where almost all of my business comes from. I'm a fan, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you entertain me daily. I love it. <laughs> Just doing my best. Yeah, thank you. But you know also, what? Google Gemini is um, from this this uh, tech class that I just took this past week. Google Gemini kind of outranks ChatGPT, so I'm Google all the way, and I've converted. So now I'm I'm a Gemini um, adopter. Ah, interesting. I'll have to look into that. I haven't explored that as much. So yeah, well, um, that's, that's a fun to watch on the program that to feed our. According to our 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 requirement, the Gemini to just train that bot, it is very fun too. So that if we were if we will step by step, you find uh, you can train that one. It is a just like a on a uh, snap of the things you will have in front of you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's amazing. I have to check into that. You, you know, uh, one word Marcy used uh, about Aaron. Uh, in his uh, uh, social media is that it's entertaining. And uh, I, I would encourage you to consider, everyone to consider using your social media as a form of entertainment. I, I've literally um, I've literally used that word as a strategy for social media because uh, to entertain uh, literally means to grasp uh, or take a hold of someone's attention and to hold their attention. And that's, that's what you want. For your business, you want to have the attention of everyone in your social media. So, you know, if you're just posting boring uh, business stuff one after another, it, it, yeah, maybe. But uh, you you have to, I, I, as a strategy, try to entertain people, draw them in, put a funny dog video, uh, some some cool picture, and then hit them with some real estate. So it keeps them keeps them um, keeps them there. And Aaron Aaron is great at that. Very entertaining. So, thank you. Fun fact about uh, Facebook. That's kind of where my uh, my skill sets start and finish. If you have about five thousand followers, you can switch your profile to a professional profile, um, and you can interact with it. If it gets enough interaction and has enough followers, Facebook will actually pay you. I make about a dollar right now, dollar to a dollar fifty per post that I make on social media. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> so you know it's that could start to pay for your keeping current matters subscription. Uh it it would actually. Uh this month I just I just made a hundred bucks. So that would pay for that that subscription for the whole thing. There you go. Love it. Man, that's really a, a great insider tip. I appreciate that. Cool. What else? Any other stuff out there? If not, we'll go ahead and call it a day. It is one hour exactly right now. Oh, we just went over 11.01. Uh, but thanks for all the great input today, everyone. Uh, great content there. And as always, if you need anything, give us uh, a shout. We're happy to help in any way we can. And uh, uh, go make some money this week. <laughs>